love, you know, we have a huge place in our heart, obviously, for like Chain Reaction and Shea Cafe and Gilman and places like this. And uh, we always try to play them as, as often as we can. Yeah. But this specifically with this being the first album, Nostalgia mm-hmm. World, we were like, well, yeah. let's play all the places that we absolutely played or would have played or would have preferred to play yeah. in that era yeah, time period okay exactly so we're like let's do shea let's do chain let's do we've never been to 720 in la but we know yeah. it's a warehouse in downtown la so we're like that's what we would have played in yeah for sure so that's so cool yeah um i mean i wouldn't lie to you and tell you that i still have these gigantic emotional connections to these songs they're 10 mm-hmm. years old yeah. um i have i have a what i feel for them is more um it's a nice time and place sort of feeling to come back to. Mm-hmm. And a lot of these songs we genuinely haven't really played in some, a couple of them really in like eight, nine years. Yeah. Cause we never really thought much about them. Mm-hmm. And then doing these shows, like revisiting them feels like fresh and performing them and having anyone care about them is like an incredibly awesome yeah. feeling. Like these songs yeah. that I genuinely didn't think anyone gave a shit about. Mm-hmm. Like this song, the record's "Swimming with Sharks," that we like literally yeah. had not played since like probably 2009. Wow! And oh, then when yeah. we play it live, it's like, oh, yeah, okay. You guys know the lyrics and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. like really, really, it's a wonderful feeling. So, That's awesome. okay, yeah, it's it's for that regard, I enjoy re- I enjoy, and when we we recorded it, mm-hmm. there yeah. we go. I think without really even. Uh, putting a lot of effort into it Mm -hmm. like just the fact that it's two different people playing on it Mm -hmm. like uh, Tyler and Elliot both were in the band so it's a different drummer and then at that time Nick was playing bass now he plays guitar that's right so we have Tyler on bass Mm -hmm. so it's really just like how we've been playing these songs live for the last at least eight and a half years with these guys yeah so it's like there's it's got a lot more energy the songs are faster like in a way like we're all better at our instruments than what yeah. we're doing and yeah. all that stuff. So it's just, yeah, we knocked it out in just a couple of days. And oh, cool. yeah, like okay. we origi- the original recording of Dead Horse, I think we did in three days or something like okay. that, two days. And this we did in like the same amount. Like, okay. yeah, there we go. I did not say Morrissey, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the original line is, I'll go to Morrissey to answer my questions, because Ian Curtis has left me hanging, yeah. right? So this time around, what I've been singing live for a long time now is, uh, I switched Morrissey with L. Cohen for Leonard Cohen. Okay. So, and I'll stand by that I've, exactly. le- I've learned a lot more from Leonard Cohen <laughs> than I ever did from Morrissey. Yeah, and I continue to still learn from Leonard Cohen after his passing, even. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't feel the need to give Morrissey any more of a nod uh, especially on a re-recording yeah. and then I changed the and I say because uh, Ian Curtis is dead yeah. because when I wrote that line like I thought it was being clever even though it's not that clever and all that sort of stuff but like you know I'm older I'm yeah. a lot more I have friends that are parents and all that sort of stuff now and I look at that and I'm like I mean you had a kid that lost a father like is that really something to make a snarky yeah. joke about Yeah. so I just changed it to he's dead he's okay. dead you know yeah. um yeah, I, I think as you get older, you get a lot more. Uh, uh, yeah, conscious of a lot of a lot of things. Something I wrote that lyric when I was like twenty four or twenty five. Yeah. You know, so. I noticed that. I always I was a big Joy Division fan yeah. and a Smiths fan, not Morrissey Same. necessarily. Yeah. So it was. No, really I mean, I was a Morrissey fan too, and yeah. then you know I always knew he sucked, but now he really, really sucks. sucks. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, none of us, we joke that there's like less than five bands that the five of us can agree on. And it's okay. always been that way. But it's funny when you, if I was to tell you what those were, right. I think it makes sense for what we sound like. It's like okay. Converge, Envy, Jimmy Eat World. Oh, okay. And like Rancid. That's awesome. <laughs> I, think, I yeah. think those are like the four bands that yeah. we all collectively are like, have bought an album of at one point in our life before anything. So yeah. And like the nerve agents maybe or something yeah. but uh, yeah so but I mean all of us listen to s- such different 
music, you know, mm-hmm. but when it comes to us getting in a room together, we write what just comes natural, which is exactly. this weird sound that we have, you know? Um, yeah, but I've been, I've been, like, a lot, of, I feel like everyone's kind of been on, like, a lot of old classic country stuff, like, I've listened to a lot of, like, Towns Van Zandt and John Prine stuff for, like, a long, a few years now, and I know, uh, like, Nick is learning to play pedal steel, like, everyone, uh, yeah. <laughs> everyone's, like, on their own, like, uh, Clayton listens to a ton of obscure, old, you know, classic country stuff, but I've been hitting the jazz phase for a while now, you know? I still, I'll always love punk and hardcore. We'll all always love punk and hardcore, but like, I don't seek it out exactly as much these days. But when I hear a band that is awesome, like I'm all about it. Like there's great current bands right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just got a notification that my, that band Gulch, like I ordered their record and I mm-hmm. saw it's on the way to my house currently. So yeah. that's exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I try to keep up as much as I can, but um, yeah, I don't find myself listening to it as much as I've gotten older, but yeah. it doesn't mean the music's doesn't mean what we're gonna do is gonna change because exactly. it's still what is what it's what we do. Yeah. 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 With our intentions that they're worse. With our intentions that they're worse. We go.